Sunshine Main Field was busier than ever this week as airlift traffic was suddenly bolstered by fresh squadrons. Here a group of valiant young pilots talk over the day's operation. Seconds later, the air corridor is loud with the hum of powerful engines. Dakotas, Skymasters, and some lesser known craft join the air parade to Berlin. The end of a hard flight and the reward. A young Berliner expresses Berlin's thanks. But there's little time for sentiment at this busy field. Planes must be unloaded and unloaded fast. For the men who fly the Soviet blockade know that the airlift isn't child's play. At Gatow, the scale is bigger, but the tempo's just the same. The C-74 Globemaster, biggest plane flying the airlift, pays another visit to Berlin. Something new in aviation, a plane that backs up. The C-74 does it by reversing its propeller. Then it maneuvers into the best unloading position. Down comes the plane's own freight elevator, loaded with special heavy machinery for use on the new Tegel field. With Soviet blockade still in force, the Globemaster is a good plane to have on your side. Meanwhile, Berlin's duly elected city assembly quit City Hall in the Soviet sector after communist action groups and Red Army squads blocked their entry into the building. The technical university in the British sector was quickly made ready. And here, city assemblymen of the democratic parties represent an overwhelming assembly majority, finally made in peace. The SE bloc did not choose to attend. Assembly leader Zua opened the meeting by reviewing three attempts made by the assembly to occupy their official city government. Later, the assembly voted to hold city elections in November. Thus, legal government continued to function as the people's representatives waged a parliamentary offensive in Berlin's Battle of Nerves. 